Hey guys, how are you doing today? Thank you very much for taking the time to check out the video. I'm Glenn Kay of Silent Takeover, Dolphin Shavers and Silent Shavers. And today we're going to be having a look at a bit of a different type of an attack. So it's Town Hall 12 and we're going to be looking at a Queen Walk Babo Witch attack uh, versus a ring based design. Now before we get into that attack, as always, if you find the video useful then please drop me a like or comment below. And also please subscribe to the channel where you'll find plenty more content and videos on Town Hall 8 through to Town Hall 12. And then if you'd like to join me in Clash, then check out the description below and you'll find the clan tags and the requirements for joining us. So the attack itself, you may not have heard of this before. Um, this attack is something that one of the guys in the clan, so Ants, first up Ants, if you're watching, thank you very much for allowing me to use the replay for the video. Um, great attack. Now, Ants has kind of put this attack together himself, um, just using his knowledge of attacks from other town hall levels. And we've seen him have quite a, a bit of success with this attack over the last few wars, which is why I thought I'd bring it to you, um, just as it's something a little bit different. Okay, so here's our target in front of us. Now, it isn't a fully maxed town hall 12, but again, I just wanted to bring you something different to the bat slap and the drag bat, which you've seen plenty of. So if we have a look at the army comp, what we've got here is two archers, three whiz, five healers, two e-drags, two minions, seven witches, eight bowlers. Then we're going to use the wall wrecker with an ice golem and pecker in there. And then you've got all of the heroes, a rage spell, three free spells, six bats, and then a further CC rage. So what's going to be the plan here? Ants is going to open up with a queen walk and he's going to start this at around 12 o'clock on the base with the intention of the queen walking counterclockwise around the base. Now to ensure that this happens he's going to follow the queen up with an e-drag just here and what the e-drag is going to do is it's going to take out these buildings here which will then force the queen around the way that he would want her to go. While that's going on, he's gonna start the other part of the funnel here using the other E-drag. And he's gonna back that up with some wizards. And that is going to look to take out this section here. And the queen will push round and take out these defenses and buildings here. So now if you have a look, what we've got here is a funnel into the core of the base. So the troop placement here is going to be the wall wrecker, followed by the witches, the king, the bowlers, and then the grand warden. Now what you'll notice here is once the eagle is popped, Ants will actually use two of his three spells on the eagle um, to stop that getting its shots off. Now, just as a pointer here, I'm not entirely sure that that would be necessary as the healers from the Queen Walk should merge with the main part of the army and then keep the witches and the bowlers alive. So, what I would personally would do would be to save those three spells for the bat phase of the attack. But in this replay, Ants uses two free spells on the eagle. Once the CC is pulled, he's also going to place his rage right here just to help his troops get into the core of the base. So the town hall and those infernos. And when they start bearing down on the town hall, he will pop his warden ability just to help keep the troops going into that core. Then will come the bat phase of the attack. And the bats are gonna come in from around about where the AQ walk started. So right at about 12 o'clock. And the bats are gonna funnel into this quadrant of the base here. Now, as mentioned, he will only have one free spell, which will be placed on this whiz tower right here. Um, and that aside, the bats will be left on their own. So we're just going to change our view for the back end of the attack. So if you picture, most of this is gone due to the queen walk, the main army push, and then the bats are going to take out the defences in this area here. His army will end up pushing down this way. And the final rage spell is going to be placed right here. 
Once that happens, all that's going to be left is a bit of clean up and there'll be plenty of troops left to do that for him. So let's check out the replay itself. And there you have it, Town Hall 12, Queen Walk, Babo Witch Attack versus a ring based design. So that's it for today guys, um, as ever if you have found this useful then please drop me a like or comment below, is this a kind of attack that you would consider using. And also don't forget to subscribe to the channel just so you're kept up to date when I go live with my regular uploads. Until next time guys, keep on clashing.